Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Now in the last episode guys, we finally got in stuff like the visitation area, the infirmary, the morgue, because there was lots of death. We also got our first little workstation in uh, for our laundry, so we now have some prisoners doing jobs in the prison. Now, some of the jobs that they do will earn them some sweet cash money moolah, which they can go on to spend and put into the kind of group fund for their gang. But no money will go into their gang just yet until we have our first gang leader arrive. Now, today, I want to focus on another type of uh, way in which the prisoners can work and earn money. Uh, the main reason for this is because we don't have that many jobs, but we do have quite a high capacity. So the more prisoners that are working, you know, the more they're occupied, you know, doing something good and productive, and hopefully it reduces anger and stress levels. <laughs> One thing we found out is the fact that because we got that 99.9% .9 gang member mod, it's really hard to deal with a prison. So if you guys are enjoying this and can't wait to see more episodes coming in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below. So before we jump straight into it then, what I'm going to do then is go straight to my reports and go to my intake. And I'm thinking I'm going to up the intake now to round about, let's just call it 50 to begin with. We're going to get a nice 3,300 payment. Or should we go the whole hog and get the full 68? Now, we'll keep it at 50 for now. We also get 15 Gs for completing the prisoner capacity of 48 as well. And we're going to keep it all minimum security best as we can. I have noticed some of the prisoners have become medium security, but that's just down to some of the crimes that they have been committing. And what I'm also going to do is go to our bureaucracy, and I'm going to research haircut. Now, the reason I'm researching haircut is, it, one, it unlocks two things. It unlocks our barber shop and our wig production room, which basically means we have two new areas in which prisoners can start to earn money. So we have the barber shop, which obviously they can learn to cut hair, Prisoners can come in and get their hair cut. Win-win for everybody. And then we have a wig production room where we just, you know, put our prisoners to work, where they just make wigs. And in return, that earns the prison some money. So it's all win-win situations for this. It's a really good one. And it's really cheap as well. 1,500. So as we research and get that in, we kind of need to figure out where we want this and pretty much where we're going to implement this inside of the prison. Now... In terms of prison planning, we've got the main cell block over here. I want eventually another one down on this side as well. And I've been thinking, at some point when I can afford it, I'm going to completely remove this canteen here and place it up here. So it's nice and big. We've got lots of room to play around with. Uh, so we can switch up the whole thing. We can extend the yard going to the left here as we eventually progress the prison going in that direction. So we have a little bit of room up here. We might do the wig production stuff over there. So let's have a little fast forward then so we can actually get these prisoners coming in, get this stuff researched, and we've got the money to pretty much do exactly what we want. I'm really excited for this. So the prisoners come in for the next four hours. Some of the rooms that we currently have available to use is the library, the chapel, uh, an actual workshop, the basic workshop. We also have cleaning cupboards as well, which we can set our prisoners to also work to be cleaners which is a really good thing to do as well just keeps the prison extra clean even though we got a little bunch of consuelas currently helping us out right now uh, we've got three hours to go so i don't really have the ability to start planning anything yet because i don't know how big the wig production room or the barbershop is going to be so it's best to do that stuff once i know um what the sizes need to be minimum so we should now have prisoners arriving very very soon which i am really excited about because we can get a nice little chunk of money from not only from the bringing them in but also from the grants as well so prisoners are now wide awake um temperatures uh, temperatures not temperatures sorry uh what's it called the danger levels are going to increase money's just come in um are we going to complete well we should complete that as soon as they arrive in and get off the bus. We've got a few coming now. What's my prison? So my prisoner capacity is now up to 50. Why have I not completed this? Is it going to tell me that it needs to be solely individual cells? That could be a thing. Who knows? Unless we've got to wait for them to actually physically get into a cell. Right, it's kind of kicking off over here. 
And they're all complaining that they want clothing, drugs, alcohol. That's not good. That stuff is not good. We've still got a dude over here starting to fight as well. <laughs> uh, you know what we need to do at some point when we can afford it? Uh, to research tasers. So we got security. Where is the taser section? It's really hard to view. There it is. The taser's there. It's hard to view it when you're going to try and, you know, get all this stuff. Because we've got so much stuff in there. Oh, I think there's a riot kicking off. Is there a riot? Yep, there is a riot underway. Right. Staff-wise, then, we need... What's actually going on right now? Where is my guards? We have two deaths. Three deaths already. This is not good. We're going to have to call in the emergency riot police right now. So call those guys in. Are they coming? Yeah. And we need to get them over here. Pronto. This is really not good. Oh, they're going to make an escape run for it in just a moment. Right, the riot guys are here right now. So they're going to do their job and try and calm the situation down. I've just spotted some of them actually grab some keys off prison guards that they've made unconscious. Right, the riot people are in now. Hopefully we can sort this out. We're going to go into a uh, bang up now. So everybody who's willing to go back to their cells will go back to their cells until everything is sorted out. We have just took a huge hit in the prison. That is not good. And this is all down to the fact that it's one, lots of gang members. And they just get really angry. We're going to try and satisfy all their needs as much as possible. Right, we're in bang up situation now. Needs wise, uh, there's a lot we got to solve. It's currently locked down. I'm going to keep it in lockdown until everything has been kind of sorted out. All of our guards are now on like, you know, match walks. Uh, walks? What am I even saying? Am I even trying to be English right now? Uh, they're on... I don't know what the hell I was trying to say right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. So our guards are kind of uh, maxed out right now. They're all doing what they got to do. Um, God, man, we took a huge hit there, didn't we? A huge hit. Well, anyway, as bad as it is, we've got to try and push forward. Rooms-wise, we've got some new rooms unlocked then. So we've got the barber, and we have the wig production room as well. So let's think of new nice little sections and places to build and drop all this in. So I think we'll place some in here then, like a nice little barber shop and wig production room. So we need to place in some foundations. And how much are these foundations going to cost us? So if I was to spend... If I was to build the whole thing here, I, won't, I don't have enough for it. But if I spend... Do 15. Right, let me cancel that. We'll plan it out and give us an idea of how we want it. So if I did a 10... What's the whole size of this, by the way? 28 by 14. So if I did a, a 10 here by 8, and that leaves me with then space for another room of 10. Oh, and that's 12. Where did you get a 12 from? 28. So I've done a 10... How have I worked that out then? So if I do a 10 there, we can get a 10 in there. It's three rooms of 10 I can actually squeeze in. Weirdly enough. Hmm. Oh, he's taking into account these lines. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm so dumb. You're so dumb, Sediac, fool. Right, okay. So with that said then, I actually wouldn't want to get this to be an eight. Uh, we'll keep that as a 10. So that is now a 12. So if I went kind of... Now, we'll keep that as a 10 as well. So, three rooms of 10, which we're going to eventually try and squeeze in. But predominantly right now, I'm only got enough money to create the one. Or the two. Now, we'll go with the one for... No, we'll go with the two. We'll just we'll build the two to begin with. And objects, doors. We'll do like a double door system on each one. There we go. And get all that built in. Nice. So, a lot of stuff happened there. Our guards... We'll let everyone out now. Our guards... They've got a lot of work to do. We lost five, We lost six guards. Holy moly. We lost seven prisoners. Our doctors have got a, have got a job and a half on them right now. To get done what they need to get to, to repair everybody, fix everybody, make everybody feel better. Oh my god, I can't believe what just went down. 
Right, walls then. Have I got enough to build this across? Yes, I do. And what we'll do now, we'll zone these rooms. So we'll have the barber shop here. Now have wig production just over here. And uh, there's a lot we need to get into these rooms themselves as well. So we've got 661. Let's uh, accept another grant. Is there any other grants that come and pretty much to do with the uh, wig production and whatnot? Uh, I'm just trying to look now. now. Uh, anything that's kind of... Oh, there we go. Barbershop and wig production. So, setting up a bar, uh, wig, produ uh, wig production shop there, if I can say it right. You get quite a bit of money, but the barbershop here... Um, Alright, we'll get that one first. It's going to be a little bit of money to work with. And we'll sort out the barbershop. So, the barbershop, we've got to build a barbershop, which we kind of currently have. Build eight barber chairs in the barbershop. So where is the barber chairs? So, okay, before we do the barber chairs and eight of them, we'll place in the mirrors for the barber shop. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we go four there. One, two, three, four. So that will be eight in total. One, two, three, four. Have I got enough money for this? One, two, three, four. I should have, yeah. So, put it back into play mode then. We've done the the mirrors, the eight mirrors. The eight barber chairs need to hire at least one barber chief. Have five prisoners pass the how to cut program. Okay. So, staff then, we need a barber chief. There we go. Does he require his own office? Barber chief office. Yeah. Okay, so we need actually more offices than what we currently have. We can eventually have more room to get that set up anyway. And then we need to go to our programs then. And we need the barber shop program. So how to cut. We'll open up that to make it available. We've got one person interested at the moment. There's no equipment because obviously we haven't got the barber shop yet set physically all up. Uh, what else should we add in here then for the barber shop? Should we throw in some plants or should we... Do you know what? I'm going to keep it as it is for now. Just try and save some money. See how things go. So. Get all that stuff in. We just need to train five prisoners to how to cut hair. So do we have now... Okay, apparently there's no equipment. Why is that? Uh, led by a barbershop for session two hours. Requires a barber chair. Right, I... do it again. There we go. I think it's because the, the, shop, the barbershop wasn't available. Now it is. We can use it. Sweet, mate. Right, we see how that goes. I mean, I got a thousand in the bank, so we could set up some wig production very, very soon. Um, okay, this is all good. This is all good. This is looking good then. So they're going back to eat now, which um, hopefully tempers don't rise as bad as they did last time. We'll see. It'd be nice to know what the serious complaints are. We had another death. Oh my good god. Someone else has perished in the prison, guys. This is not great, is it? It's not great at all. Oh, dearie me. Right, anyway, rig production. So this uh, requires a table and a barber press. Now, a barber press here is 1,500. I really don't have the funds to do that. So we're going to dismantle some objects then. And by objects, we're getting rid of some of the trees. So we can export those bad boys. At some point, I will place down trees and, like, you know, make the place beautiful again. But it's just to get me some sweet cash money moolah while I'm very poor. <laughs> That's literally all it is to do with. Um, okay, so we need... Raise your prisoner capacity, that. I mean, I'm sure we had it that high. You know what we're going to do anyway? We're going to um, intake... Up to, do you know, we'll, we'll fill our capacity up to 68, which means we're going to get a lot more prisoners come in tomorrow. A lot more prisoners. But ultimately, it's going to give us the funds. We might have another riot on our hands. But we'll see how things go. See how things go. Right. we got some exports on the way out right now. Yeah, they'll be going very shortly. We get some more money. We can then build our kind of wig production press. What was it called? What's it called again? Is it a barber... 
barber press, isn't it? There we go. So there we go. We've got one there. We'll drop that in. And we also need a table too. So if I place a table... Let me cancel that. If I place a table here and here, then we'll have our barber press. We can do one there. and then Well, we'll start on this side. We'll do one here. No, we'll do one there. We'll start it there. There we go. And see how things fly with that. So I don't know if we have to make... Is there a program that's been required for us to train people to be able to make wigs? Um, a lot of prison stuff here. Uh, basketball stuff, I mean. Did I see wig production? No, I don't think I did. I think they can just simply go in and automatically start working, right? Does that require power? No, it doesn't. So logistics... No, not logistics. Yeah, prison labor. We can have eight jobs in here. We can have eight jobs in there. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Uh, they're asleep at the moment, so they can't really do anything uh, at the moment. And I can't place... Oh, I got any extra money. I just realized. I can place in a few more barber presses here. So we'll do one there. And I can squeeze in another one, can't I? So one there. Then one there. Right, that's all my money used then. You know, I don't like it being like that. It just looks ugly. Right, we'll do it like this. So... There we go. So a gap of two is fine. So we can have eight. We do like four there. Muri on the other side. So we can have like eight in there in total. Which is completely fine by me. Right, exports are coming in. We're going to have all those prisoners arrive very shortly. Which is going to increase tempers dramatically in the prison. And we could see another riot kick off as well. Which hopefully we don't. But you never know. Still can't raise my prison capacity to 48, apparently. It's weird, that, isn't it? Maybe I just need more cells. Maybe that's what it, what it means. Could be. It could be. Right, anyway, we've got all these new prisoners now just arrived. We've got 9,000 in the bank. Which, with that money, I'm going to laminate the flooring of the barber shop. And the wig production, which... Oh my good god, I just realised it's super expensive. Maybe we won't do that today. <laughs> Damn, boy. This is so expensive. Right. What I will do is hire more guards. So I'll bring our guard capacity now up to 30. Which is not too shabby. I found a USB on that dude then. Did you see it? So to get tasers, we need to research... Ar the armory. But to get the armory, we need to research patrols. So we'll research that first then. So as soon as we have the ability to give all of our guards tasers, they'll be able to handle bad situations a lot easier. But it's quite expensive to get to that point. We've had a floppy disk on that dude. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. That is hilarious. Right, it's currently eat time. People are getting their grub on. Temperatures don't... Temp I keep saying temperatures. It's tempers. Tempers aren't ridiculous today. You can see a few medium security prisoners as well, which is interesting. So yesterday they kicked off big time. Today they're fine. I mean, they are getting a little bit angry. Right, they're kicking off now. Which when one gang member joins in, they all join in. So if I go to our deployment then and have two more guards in this area... Right, it's going to be free time now, so they're all going to run out. Hopefully they all run out before the riot kicks off. Mm, okay, it wasn't as bad as the yesterday's riot. <laughs> but it's still bad, isn't it? It's currently free time then. So, we'll see what happens. I want to see if anybody will come and work in the wig production room. And I want to see how many now are going to take up the how to go. So there's four interested, but only one's just joined the course for now. So we still got a while before we can actually get that completed. So that's pretty interesting, though. Uh, okay, then. So it's looking all good, then. It's all looking all good to begin with, then. It's currently free time. They're just chilling out, you know, calming themselves down right now. Some of them are going to the barber shop to try and get their hair cut, but there's no barbers there at the moment. So we just got to wait until it's available. 
There's been another death today. Oh man. It's not good, is it? It's not good. We're having lots of deaths. It's currently yard time. When does work start, by the way, in our regime? Uh, 3 p.m. Okay. We're going to switch this up. We're going to go work, work. This will be yard time there. So from 1 to 7 is when they're going to be working. And I want to see if anybody goes into the wig production room. Uh, required how to cut. Oh, they got to pass the course to work in all of that. Gotcha. So there's quite a lot that we got to do before they can even go into these rooms to make stuff happen. So that's going to take some time, isn't it? That will take some time. So why don't we then, objects-wise, get the rest of the barber presses in? So I actually can't physically rotate this, which is really weird. So we do one there. And there we go. We've ran... Of course, as always, out of money. It's always going to happen, right? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Okay, so when does that class start then, the program? Oh, oh it currently starts right now. And where is it taking place? Right, it's currently in here. And they're coming in right now to start learning. We've got quite a few people interested in here. Wow, this is cool. we got eight of them. It's really active. I wonder if any of them will pass. Let's find out. I'm not too sure how long the course is. It's free till... Is it free till five, I believe? And hopefully these guys are paying attention. And hopefully some of them do pass. Because it would be really, really nice if they can start working in there. So the course is going up. It's almost done. And there we go. We got... Oh, we got three of them that passed. No way. One of them passed the kitchen hygiene as well, so we got an employee in the kitchen. So it's currently work slash free time right now. So three of them passed, which means they're all going to be working in the uh, in the barber shop there, cutting hair and stuff. That's so cool. Oh wow, it's kind of dope, isn't it? Right. So here they are now. They're actually in here working. You just wait for, like, uh, prisoners to come in and, like, they cut their hair and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Uh, intelligence, then. We're going to check out the gangs. Do we have... Oh, my good God, guys. We've got a gang leader. We've got a gang leader. And they've taken over the common room as well. No way. Okay, this is... One, this is really cool. Two, this is really bad. Because this is now where the gang ah, starts to take over. Now... The bad thing is for the other gangs is the fact that the green gang has pretty much got it solid. They've got a gang leader, because you can tell by the three circles. They've got an enforcer with the two circles there. So that means they're pretty much good to go. They're ready to take over. So the red gang and the blue gang, they've got a lot of catching up to do. A lot of catching up to do. That green gang is going to be killing it right now. So what you probably notice now as well is some of the gang members... The green gang are in the dormitory. They'll now probably start to kick up a fuss and try and get some cells for our leaders and like other gang members too. This is going to really change the dynamics of the prison. Wow, this is really exciting, this is, isn't it? It's really exciting. Okay, right, sweet. So what's next then on our list in terms of rooms? What should we be trying to be focusing on? We could do at some point um, have a storage room, which for now what I could do is zone this to be our storage room. And what that would do is just get like all the like stuff that's lying around, the materials and whatnot. It'll just get it out of the way and pull it in there so our prisoners are not using it or going through it. Uh, what other rooms should we be taking care of? Cleaning cupboards is a good one because that can always set us up for giving more jobs. Uh, at some point, we're going to want sh like a shop, aren't we? Do we have to research a shop? I can't remember if we do. Hold on. Rooms. Where's the store? Yeah, shop. It requires... Oh, no. I can have it right now. It's just really weird because it's grayed out, isn't it? So it'd be nice to have a store then. And I think this would be the perfect location for it. But we do need a little bit extra money. So, let's see. It's still currently work time, isn't it? Yeah. Is he... Check out his experience. Did he pass? Yeah, he passed the how to cut course. Nice. Reputation. Hasn't really got one. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. 
Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to start working in the wig production room as well. That's going to change the dynamics dramatically. Right, object saying we're now going to demolish every tree that we have. Thus, I can maximize the amount of money I could potentially earn. It's not great, but it is what it is. Have I unlocked the forestry room as well? Because the forestry allows us to grow trees. No, we've got a lot of groundskeeping. It allows us to grow tr trees and then cut them down and sell them, which is really handy. You see that they the, the, the clean up the barber shop. How cool is that? Because they work in there. Those blonde hair strands needs to be moved to the barber press. That's actually quite cool. So to get the strands of hair, they need to cut from the barber shop to create the wicks. That's really intelligent. That's quite smart, guys, isn't it? Right, how much is it going to cost us for foundations here? Okay, I can afford to do it. Uh, but I probably want it to be, I'm going to turn this into the store, but I probably want it a little bit bigger, like come down to here. So I can like create like a, a shop window. Yeah, that's probably what I want to do. Right, lockless door, I'll place that there. See how that goes for now. So we'll have a few prisoners arriving in the morning. Which that will give us 900 smackaroonies. We'll just need two more prisoners to pass the how to cut. And then we get uh, 15,000 from that grant. That's actually not too bad. We've got 10 of them interested, and that will, you know, take place tomorrow. We can do some behavioral therapy too. We'll get that as a program as well. So that will try and calm down some of the prisoners and make them work through some of their issues. Um, we've got like... Oh, alcoholics group and... Oh, and the drug... Do you know what? We'll get the drug treatment and the alcoholics group as well. Because that will really help uh, people out. Um, right. So. Oh, no. Let me cancel that. I need to reschedule the program. Where's it gone? I'm just actually going to get rid of it, haven't I? So, from one to three, we had the behavioral therapy, which is... The psychologist uses that. The dark dad does that one. And the psychologist does this one. But there's no rooms available. So, let's... Can I... Reschedule. I can't really reschedule, can I? What's it require? Uh, led by a psychologist in a common room. No, equ ah, no equipment. We need more chairs. Right, objects then. So we just place a couple of chairs down. Various places. Just like that. Just to slightly add to the common room. I can't place anything in this common room. Because um, the gang kind of owns it, don't they? It's crazy, that is. Right, can we get these uh, chairs in, please? Are they bring Yeah, they're bringing in some chairs now, right? So, can I re reschedule? There we go. we got it all set up now. So, that should solve. Because a lot of, the, a lot of the, uh, the prisoners, as we've previously seen, were complaining about drug and alcohol issues. So we can have like kind of meetings set up where they can go and sort their issues out. It might reduce some of that. And now we have the stuff for it. So the how to cut takes place at 1 to 3 p.m. Four are now currently interested. That's because we've done the other kind of programs. So less are interested now in the that main one. Uh, we've got 2,600. Oh, this has now been built. Okay. So foundation wise, if I was now to build this little area. But I kind of want it to stick out a little bit more than what it is. So if I go to about here, and that should be fine. And then materials. I want to just demolish these walls here. Oh, oh there's been escapes. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, they've, they've escaped. Right, hold on. We're going to clean. We're going to remove this tunnel here. That's annoying. Eight of them have just escaped. It's annoying, but the upside is that means more prisoners are going to come in tomorrow. So we have like a, a bigger boost of grant. Well, coming very soon. I can't believe this escape. I want to see where they built that tunnel from. We're just waiting for... Um... Oh, where's that dude going? 
Right, we got him. Right, they're rioting right now, aren't they? Okay, we found the tunnel. And it came straight from here. Right, when it's safe to do so, remove that tunnel, please. They're now all kicking off and rioting once more. Is that the green gang? Hold on, intelligence gangs. Almost, yeah. The green gang is kicking off. The leader's there telling them what to do. It's it's gang rivalry right now, guys. It's going down. It is going down. Oh, we've got another dude trying to escape over here. Oh, you get, oh, I'm about to say, you're about to let him out? Oh, my good God. Right, we should have our patrols now all set up, shouldn't we? So we can start to get those in. We'll set the... St oh, that's annoying how that's happened there. Right, we're going to go for a bang up now. And try and solve this issue. Right. Prison's calmed down now. So let's let them back out. So we'll set the store up in the next episode, but it's really annoying how the foundations have done that. There we go. That's what I want it to do. So this will be our store. We eventually get it all set up. There we go. Perfect. Nice, mate. Okay, did the, yeah, we got all the prisoners now in. Uh, we're just waiting for various times in which we can... It's been more... Wait, is there more escapes? Oh, they just let one dude out, I bet you. I bet you they just let one dude out. Ah. Do you know what solved these problems? Where is it? No, it's in objects, isn't it? Building the big gate for vehicles. I just forgot what it's called, though. Where is it? Ah, uh, road gate. That's what it's called. So we drop a road gate here. And then we'll do a road gate here. So then materials-wise, we'll just get like a really cheapish fence. I know it's not the best. But it will do for now. And that's an extra level of security in terms of letting or stopping prisoners from escaping. Is he just, I think he's just been let free. Yeah, he's just been released. Oh, GG, dude. GG. Right, how are we doing over here, then? Very shortly, they'll, start, they'll be starting the How To Cut um, program. He's there now. How many people are going to be uh, joining him for that? Two. And we need both of them to pass to be able to get that grant cash money moolah. So we'll see how that goes. So work free. Oh, no, we got more than two. Wait, what, what was I looking at the right one? No, active. There's currently oh, eight interested. And there's currently eight... Two interested. There's currently eight taking part of it. So there's a good chance we can actually get that grant money as well. Which would be pretty nice. See how things go with that. Um, right. Also, do we have any programs currently going on at the moment to do with... Yeah, the kitchen safety is currently going on. There's four currently on that. Behavior treatment, so you can see that there's two currently active on the behavior treatment. Uh, starting very soon is the alcoholics group, which is five in queue that are going to jump straight into it. Treatment for drug addiction, there's currently one taking that right now, which he is over here doing some work. So he's, uh, I don't know what he's doing, but hopefully he's doing the right thing. Right, we've had, oh, we've had one more pass. Are we still doing? Where is it? Had to go... Oh no, only one of them passed out of that group. That's a shame, that is. That is really a shame. Right, but I think he's now... Is he making some wigs? Prison labor? No, not yet. They're just placing the hairs in there. I can't wait till we start making some wigs, because, uh, you know, we'll get some sweet... Sweet money in the prison. Right, so it's a shame then. We didn't actually get that quite complete today. That's a real shame. But we'll, we'll make some some headway on it and try and you know get there eventually uh next episode then guys uh, we should complete that grant and get the fifteen thousand. we'll use that money to um build the store here the shop we can have more people working in it and then they can spend the money they earn from the jobs which i'm not too sure now did any of the gangs have any money not just yet look at that look how many green gang members are in this dormitory Damn. We need to build some more cells at some point. I might mirror this whole wing and place it over there when I've got the, the funds to do it. 
uh, and then we'll have more cells set up. And then once that wing's mirrored over there, we will then create other cells in other areas, different types, you know, some good ones, some bad ones, and then start segregating like minimum, maximum, and uh, medium security prisoners and whatnot. We can do it all set up and it should be pretty damn good. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Then if you did, make sure you smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Yeah.